Deputy Speaker, calls from concerned South Africans for President Zuma to resign have intensified this year, but the President has stubbornly refused to heed them. Former President Tabombeki wrote a letter to him appealing to him to listen to his people and do the right thing, but the incumbent chose to reject this sound advice. Last week, the Save South Africa movement, consisting of patriotic and distinguished individuals, members of civil society, the clergy, and ANC veterans, also appealed to President Zuma to step down. But again, our stubborn president rejected the appeals. Today, I want to appeal to the consciences of ANC members of parliament to do the right thing and put the interests of their country before those of President Zuma and his defenders. I'm appealing to them to support this motion to remove President Zuma from office. The ACDB believes that our country desperately needs an ethical and principled leader of integrity who hates corruption. Deputy Speaker, yesterday a pastor came to my office to ask me to read a prayer for South Africa in the House today, and I'm going to do that. He said, and this prayer was written by the Secretary General of the Evangelical Alliance of South Africa. It reads as follows, and I quote, uh, God in heaven, we worship and adore you. Dear Lord, be your name in all the earth. We lament the failures of our leaders to live up to their calling to lead with integrity and justice as servants of the people. We repent from our tolerance of rampant corruption in our public institutions and for allowing evil to triumph on our watch. We pray for the replacement of those in government who have made themselves instruments of evil and corruption. We particularly ask that you replace the state president who has disrespected his oath of office and plunged our nation into crisis through his lack of ethical leadership. Honorable Deputy Speaker. We pray that you raise up Honorable those... Honorable please take your seat. Please take your seat. Yes, Honorable Member. I rise on Rule 84. And I do believe in the Bible, Honorable Mishra, but I don't think it will be correct for you to want to label honorable members as, as devils using the Bible. But Deputy Speaker. Yes. Yes. Deputy Speaker. Yes, Honorable Member. No, nowhere in the world is it allowed to disrupt a prayer, please. Can, how do you do take, that? Take your seat, This is how the ANC has come to be, disrupting a prayer. Uh, honorable Please. member, uh, proceed, Honorable Mishra. Speaker, <laughs> President Zuma has defied and ridiculed South Africans from many different backgrounds who love their country. These include professionals, former constitutional judges, former state presidents, academics, business people, ANC leaders and veterans, and ordinary people who are concerned about the damage his tainted and compromised image is doing to our country, and he's therefore, we are appealing to his conscience to do the right thing and step down. The ACDB believes that the time is now for President Zuma to step down and go back to Nkandla to look after his cattle, chicken, and livestock that he has not had time to because of his travels around the world. Thank you.